Bell Teacher A new student approached the Zen master and asked how he should prepare himself for his training. Think of me a bell, the master explained. Give me a soft tap and you will get a tiny ping. Strike hard and you will receive a loud, resounding peal. Moral of the story, you get out of something what you put into it. Chasing two rabbits. A martial arts student approached his teacher with a question. I'd like to improve my knowledge of the martial arts. In addition to learning from you, I'd like to study with another teacher in order to learn another style. What do you think of this idea? The hunter who chases two rabbits, answered the master, catches neither. 1. Moral of the story, to excel one has to focus all energy on the task at hand. Cliffhanger One day while walking through the wilderness a man stumbled upon a vicious tiger. He ran but soon came to the edge of a high cliff. Desperate to save himself, he climbed down a vine and dangled over the fatal precipice. As he hung there, two mice appeared from a hole in the cliff and began gnawing on the vine. Suddenly, he noticed on the vine a plump wild strawberry. He plucked it and popped it in his mouth. It was incredibly delicious. The man knew that he was about to die and that there was nothing he could do about it. The strawberry was his last chance to enjoy life so instead of wasting his last moments in fear and frustration he took what little pleasure he could and made the best of it. Banishing a ghost. The wife of a man became very sick. On her deathbed, she said to him, I love you so much. I don't want to leave you, and I don't want you to betray me. Promise that you will not see any other women once I die, or I will come back to haunt you. For several months after her death, the husband did avoid other women, but then he met someone and fell in love. On the night that they were engaged to be married, the ghost of his former wife appeared to him. She blamed him for not keeping the promise, and every night thereafter she returned to taunt him. The ghost would remind him of everything that transpired between him and his fiancée that day, even to the point of repeating, word for word, their conversations. It upset him so badly that he couldn't sleep at all. Desperate, he sought the advice of a Zen master who lived near the village. This is a very clever ghost, the master said upon hearing the man's story. It is, replied the man. She remembers every detail of what I say and do. It knows everything. The master smiled, you should admire such a ghost. But I will tell you what to do the next time you see it. That night the ghost returned. The man responded just as the master had advised. You are such a wise ghost, the man said, you know that I can hide nothing from you. If you can answer me one question, I will break off the engagement and remain single for the rest of my life. Ask your question, the ghost replied. The man scooped up a handful of beans from a large bag on the floor. Tell me exactly how many beans there are in my hand. At that moment the ghost disappeared and never returned. Moral of the story, no one knows everything. Not even a spirit. You can be wise in some ways, but not in all. Ways. Books. Once there was a well-known philosopher and scholar who devoted himself to the study of Zen for many years. On the day that he finally attained enlightenment, he took all of his books out into the yard and burned them. All. Moral of the story, the most important things in life you can't learn through books. You have to learn them through experience.